Greetings and salutations to all you folks out there. We're back at this bloody spot. You'd think that we hadn't even played a whole another 30 or 45 minutes of this game, but you know what? We're back at the ending point for the second video, so we need to pick our... Um, we're going to do growth, I think. We need to pick our technology tree. And we need to carry on as if nothing ever happened, because it totally didn't. We also need to rename our settlements again, but we'll get to that. All right, for now, we're going to... We cannot traverse any terrain. We've moved to the extent that we can. And everything looks rather peaceful. So let's assign a skill point and then get on with our lives. Um, let's do... Let's do Ancestral Grudge, which gives us plus 3% on the green skins. Because that is definitely what we need right now. And we'll end the turn. I'm wondering, are the events that transpire completely random or is it actually something where different things will happen depending yes. on the playthrough um let's see we're gonna go to march stance which doesn't actually buy us any distance so oh yes it does there we go march back into the cities let's check on everything here we've got no build spaces left everything is good we've got Public order going up, just like it was before, and we've got two more turns on a third Send me to level on our main fortress, so we will pass another turn. I definitely need to raise more of an army. That is 100% something that I need to do. I think that did happen the second turn after I came back, so maybe events do transpire My exactly the same. It would make sense. All right, we're going to come back. Still in the march stance, so we'll cover a fair good bit of distance. Our treasury is looking rather healthy. Um, let's, uh... Did I have heroes? I have a hero. We shall control. not move him quite yet. And we're waiting one more turn on that. Okay, so we're good to go. Let's do... There was one other thing that I wanted to do, and I forget what it was. We'll just pass another turn. I'm going to keep my king kind of in the center point, probably next to Pillars of Grunjni. And we'll have to just make sure that nothing bad happens. I'm going to sit right there. We're going to let you, my good fellow, come over here and join this army. That'll consolidate all of our forces. And while we're at it, we should probably recruit. We cannot change our current stance. Well, crud. Have to wait till next turn. We can, however. Let's not recruit a lord. Let's maintain one big army. I think that might be one of the things that I screwed up on last time around was recruiting the second hero because there's a pretty large cost per turn for having another hero where I could just be adding... I think I could add two units to my existing army for the cost of one lord without a backing force. All right, so the brewery, yeah, this is the same one. Okay, so we've got to kill, defeat three armies or garrisons from the greenskin tribes. Did I just end a second turn? I think I did. It's not gonna matter, it'll be fine. It'll all be good. Okay, so you are going to set up on my freaking territory. How dare you? And there is bloody spears at the back. So we've got negative growth because of that strange triangular symbol Send that we never did finish. find out what it was. We're going to go to Very normal well. stance. And just get close enough that we can defend the city, I think. Move the Would be wise. And then... We need to do a couple of things with our money. We have achieved level 3, so we can build another building. And I think that building should probably be, well, casualty replenishment is always a good thing, but I think we need more income because the income stacks and stacking income is a good thing. We're going to do that. We're going to upgrade the drinking hall because then we can take out taxes. Bam. Bam. And we will still be super high on that. 
Good freaking dealio. Go ahead with that. I'm looking for things to do differently. Well, we've already had something occur differently because this guy did not come up before. So we just need to kind of feel things out once again. You know, if it happens differently every single time you come through it, there's actually a lot of merit in just resuming from your save point. We also need to do this. Um, let's go for the diplomats. Yes, definitely. Was that a diamond mine? A gem mine shaft. I may have... I clicked the wrong button. I was say, I may have just changed my mind. What happens if I go near the wolves? Do the wolves attack me? It would be interesting to find out. I just opened up a gem mine shaft, so I really, really should go after one of these. No, it's only iron, gold, and stone quarries. So apparently, I cannot gain. Well, that sucks. All right, I'll just keep going the way that I am then. All right. Let's see. What else can we do here? I want to increase my income as much as I possibly can. So we need to build level two of that as soon as we get done. And let's see, siege workshop. We have our, we do not have our armory yet. I'm trying to remember what we had at this point. Um, that is trinket maker, which in generates 200 income, which is nice. I should probably go for the second level on these as soon as I can. Do one there. Because that will allow me to build more buildings. And that's something that I was severely lacking on last time around. Just didn't have enough build space. The ally has been attacked. Enter war on side of the ally. Um, Yeah, let's go for it. Did we get sucked over there? All right then. Well, apparently we still don't have to do anything, so that's good. But I don't want to break ties with a faction quite yet. Grom Peak, ick. All right, we've received three thousand from the pacification award. All you find here, mighty lord. The lands are not suitable for your kind to settle. Um. Okay, that was a little unsolicited. But. Okay. I'm not going to go over there right now, though. That is a hell of a long ways away. Okay. So there is a war camp over here. Can I make it there in one turn? Let's see, raiding stance, use the underway. We can get there with marching, but then we won't be able to attack the turn after. And I'm worried that something is going to pop up in our base. So let's just wait for this to go. We do not have a surplus, do we? Yes, we do. You're upgrading to level two. You need to upgrade. Fantastic. Fan freaking tastic. Let's go again. I'm working as an isolationist now. I am no longer intervening into the goings on of the outside world. Let's see. They demand a military alliance. Yeah. Yeah, why not? And there's Bloody Spears. What did he just do? He just completely disappeared. Probably went out of line of sight. And there is the Chaos Stirs. Okay, so we're getting back on track with where we were at before. Alrighty then. Our income is such that it can support a great number of new troops. However, we do not yet have the armory. And I would like to get the armory up to recruit the stronger units before I actually continue. 
So we're going to pass one more turn, I think, but we do need to pick another section. Let's do the guild leaders because then we can go to Thane's authority. I think that's wise. Reduce hero costs. Spite backbiter. Why is there a question mark? Oh, we don't know how many orc boys he has. Interesting. I guess because he's kind of outside our direct line of sight, maybe? I'm gonna go with that excuse. So the <laughs> the vampire counts are once again entering into the affairs of man. Because we're allied, we can actually see what they're doing. The Let's undead, see. my lord, under the thrall of their vampire masters, no doubt. Stay alert when dealing with the midnight aristocracy, lest their trick. I'm not going to be directly dealing with the Midnight Aristocracy for the time being, so I'm just going to leave that one alone. Okay, we've reached the second level over here, and that means we can build something new. I'm not going to build a garrison because I need to build some other things. What was it I was going to build? An armory. An armory is the thing that I was going to build. Siege Workshop. Can I not build an armory? I cannot until I get to level three. So let's see what we can do here. What do you have that is dispensable? We have a gem mine shaft. Can I make a gem mine shaft on this one? Um, I cannot. So that is also something. I do not want to cancel construction. Thank you very much. All right, so the gem mine shaft is indispensable, and I have a level two over here. I might have to go to level three on the other as well. I know that I need to build an armory, but I cannot freaking justify it. Unless I go to level four, which is going to take four population cap. The choices are so very, very difficult. I don't actually have another build slot until... Ah, until level three, which is going to take two surplus. And fantastic. Okay, so that's actually not that far away. Um, can I build in all of the slots? I think I can. So let's go, let's not do anything. Let. Uh, well, we're, we'll unlock this in another turn. So we'll build something over there that will increase our income or some such thing. Okay. Yet another turn passed. I'm wondering if I'm using the logic correctly because I, I don't know. I have my doubts. I have my doubts. Okay, so how many turns until we have a surplus? Nine turns until we have a surplus. But we already have two. So let's go four, level three. Which is going to take four turns and cost quite a bit of money, but we have it, so that's fine. And let's go for another level of gem mining. Because we need to upgrade our income to the greatest extent possible. And then this will unlock the recruitment of the Longbeards. Enables hero recruitment of Thane. What are the long beards? I would like to know that. Maybe I could find it. The High King acts. Borlers, miners, dwarf warriors. Well then. Maybe it's useful? It's got to be useful. I mean, they offer it. Why would they offer me an upgrade that was not useful? I should not even be asking that because that's stupid. Um, let's let's just uh Let's go for it. Why not? That's super bad logic. If you don't have any reasons to do something, even though there's not any reasons not to do something, you may not know all of the reasons not to do it. That is very circular, but I promise there's a point in there somewhere. All right, we need to build a building on here. 
We could do a trading depot, which increases our trading income. That could be useful. Or we could do a siege workshop, which unlocks the grudge thrower. You can always use more grudge throwers. Or the trinket maker. We're not making very much in trade right now. And a garrison I don't think is going to be necessary while we're keeping our army next to home. So let's go over the trinket maker because that will increase our income yet again. And at this particular moment, I don't think I want to recruit anything because we'll be getting some new options shortly. Okay. We shall go again. Was that a loss? It looked like a loss. All right, we have gained a follower, a dwarf drool, drooler, <laughs> a dwarf, dwarf drooler. This is why their beards look so waxed and pretty all of the time. I bet you didn't know that. A dwarf jeweler can weigh up, appraise, and rate the clarity of a stone from across the room, and eyepiece is what Ungi pretenders have to use. Okay, so income from the breweries and gem counters up 6%. You know what? That is actually a pretty dang good thing. I'm going to accept. Um, where can I find this person? Probably not on my map quite yet. We do need to pick another. Let's go for Thane's Authority. Go for that. Um, we're still waiting a couple turns on some builds here. So, again. Ooh, now we have another person to do skills with. Let's see. Five leadership and hero success chance is modified by an additional minus 10%. That actually looks pretty good. Let's go for that. Bam. A wise direction. Oh, there it is. Okay. I actually had him selected. We're going to embed him into Thorgrim's army. That is what I wanted to do all along. Alright, two more turns to completion. <clears throat> I'll find out what that other slot is for as well. In just a moment. Send me to vengeance. Okay, one more turn on you. You are complete. We can upgrade as we see fit. Good freaking dealio. Um, we've reached maximum there. We have not reached maximum there, but I don't think there's a need to reach maximum. Because why would we need maximum drunkenness? Wouldn't that make the dwarves less effective at work? Let's go for the same upgrade on the Tinkerer Shop over here. And pass another turn. I'm beginning to see a theme here. Pass a turn, pass a turn. For those of you still watching the video this far in, I would love to hear, do you actually like watching me micromanage this or is this something you would prefer that I do and then snip out and show only the big events and um, large battles? Although I think with a game like this, you kind of lose some of what's going on in the game if you don't know all of the other little things happening. The Abominable Puppet Grudge, as seen by Thungni's, wow, that's a weird name, Raging Glare, Innocent Dawi traveling through Stirland have been taken by the Von Sestreen Zengunas and slain. Their bodies have been risen and made to perform a dread revel. Well, that sounds deeply disturbing. It's like, it, I, I'm not even going to draw a comparison there. Being killed and then put on puppet strings. That is a terrible way for anyone to go. Um, so, we need to kill some of the undead. But at this particular moment, I would rather not extend that far. Maybe once we can raise another Throw army, banners. that would work. Let's march. Have we finished? We do! We have T3, so we have access to the long beards. Oilers with great weapons. Long beards need the armory, which we can now build. Thank 
freaking goodness. Okay, so an armory. We're going to go there. And, oh, we do unlock another slot. So we have a third to burn. Um, What would we like to do? We can't really generate more income. We do need a siege workshop. So let's go for that. That will work. Okay, it's going to be three turns before we gain access to that. So we'll let our treasury fill back up and we'll be able to recruit some big freaking nasties. Once we get to that point. Oh, you look rather ferocious. If I was ever going to be, let's see, grudge aborted. Oh, well, I'm not going to complain. I'm sitting inside my own borders anyway. Um, if I were ever going to be intimidated by an orc, that would definitely be an orc that I would be intimidated by. That is also a terrifying menace. Why does he have horns out of his shoulder blades? That does not seem to bear any relevance in warfare. Although, actually, if someone was attacking you from the rear, you could just, like, trip and fall over backwards on them and impale them. So it might work out. Maybe for you. This is not good. Things are disintegrating into ruins. We can colonize it, though. Where did, where did it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Why did it just go away? Left click to select. Why are you not letting me select? You're cruel. You are a cruel mistress, Total Warhammer. You get my hopes up that I can settle a place and then you just snatch it all away from me. All right, we've got one more turn for armory and then we will be able to continue on. Can I upgrade to T3? I can. We're going to do that. We're at the maximum there. We can actually go up to freaking five with this. Holy cow. That, uh, that lends us some strong weaponry. Okay. What do we want to do now? An additional 15 growth. From the guild's commandment. So I would have to swap to the guild's commandment. Guild's commandment to take advantage of that. However, that also does give me a branch out into that area. So many different things to look at. Let's go for Grommel Picks. Because eventually I do want to expand down to the Iron Rock down here and secure that. But, like I said, I've got to wait until I can get two reasonably sized forces online. Ah, we can now recruit the Grudge Thrower. Beautiful. We already have um, three of those at the moment, though, and those are rather expensive. So I'm going to kind of just not do that for the time being. We do have long beards, though, which are going to be not quite as bad. They have the same upkeep as a quarreler. It looks like they're shielded, so they don't have a bow. Hmm. Hmm, I say. I agree. Let us recruit a couple. Because recruitment is always fun. Okay, so we're going to do that. Let us hire a hero to start building our new army. So we have maimed arm, melee attack, minus six, leadership, plus three. Minus five percent chance of wounding aggressors. This is actually interesting because it'll keep my units from breaking. But it also drastically decreases his fighting capabilities. Let's, um, let's go for that. Let's recruit. Summon me if you dare. And we're going to start building some forces for you. And we're going to start that off with the strongest of the strong. We're going to go for the long beard. Sure enough. And that's going to actually take two turns. Holy cow, those are expensive. All right. Let's go. Ooh. 
They demand a peace treaty and they offer 900. Do I really want to enter into a treaty with an undead vampire count? His strength rating is very poor. Um, let's go for it because that's going to increase our payments by 900 and I really want the money. Like above all else, I really want the money. It's what life is all about, right? All right, there you go. At least that's nothing directly affecting us. What are you doing? Yeah, not a chance. He is by himself. Way out there in the middle of nowhere. What are you doing? You lunatic. My axe thirsts for war. All right, we're going to kind of wander down here Gun to our border. Then. And we're going to try to recruit a couple more. Let's recruit a grudge thrower. Very well. Let's see, those are 750. Let's actually do three because that's going to, um, yes. That's going to give us a similar long range attack stance to the king. And we need to do a few quarrelers as well because we always want to have some long range available to us. So let's go for that. And with that, we are good to freaking go. Pass again. Oh, crap. Really? We got to retreat. Yeah, you better run. He came all the way out of nowhere to try to challenge us. Join the war against the vampire counts. They offer 1,000. Um, okay. We'll just, uh, they gave us 900 last time, so we're just going to accept that. And even if we don't get 900, we got 1,000 this time. So if it's a bidding war, I mean, I'm all for this. Let's open up the bidding. I'm, if the vampire counts will pay us 1,200, I, I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that. All right, so... Ew. This is what happened before we died last time. And the stranger comes. I can handle the corruption. The treasury shall expand. The corruption is not a problem because my super, my people are super complacent at the moment. Look at this. We're at 100 and plus 12. You can't get any better than that. Speaking of which, wasn't there an ability... They gave plus 5% tax income. Can we handle that now? That was in the commandments. Oh, okay. So, tax rate plus 5%. Let's issue that commandment. Because right now, we're looking pretty dang good. Does the commandment have to be in effect? Oh, okay, okay, okay. So this commandment will cease to take take effect. That makes a lot more sense. All right, so we're going to lose plus two, but we'll still be plus ten. And we'll gain some more tax income. I am all freaking for that. Oh, no. Mount Squighorn is under attack. We're just going to roll over and die on that one. Hopefully he doesn't raise it. We might have to recruit a third lord. Oh, good lord. He took the building from us. We no longer have the ability to issue commandments. Ick. Um, that could be problematic. Let's go. Onward. The High King moves. All right, that's our biggest force, so we should be able to take Time that rather the easily. Thing. And so that uh, these people over here don't butt into our business. Let's go ahead and recruit some. Um, I agree. Two, one, two, three. Did I recruit those under the king? I thought I recruited these last time. All right, we're going to go one, two, three, and one, two on those. Good freaking dealio. 
There's one way to find Send out. To I still have three. Did I cancel it somehow? I probably pressed X and didn't mean to. Oh well. It is what it is. Alright, he is running to the south. So at least he's not coming after us. That's right, run back home, dear. Creepy little castle in the woods. Oh look, the orcs are moving after him. Alright, a great migration comes to our borders demanding shelter from larger threats abroad. Do we let them cross our territory or turn them away? Um, do nothing or welcome. Migration, recruitment cost minus 10, public order minus 3, growth plus 15. Yes! Welcome them with a smile that will pay for this hospitality at a later time. Oh, that is so dirty. Okay, so things are actually looking fairly good for us. Um, let's go ahead and keep recruiting. We have 596 income. Can we upgrade any income generating places? We can. It's going to cost 2200, but it will generate 400 income as opposed to 300. So that'll be enough to just about support another troop. We're going to do that. That is so freaking sad because we lost a fully upgraded unit. Destroy them. Pitiful. I declare Pitiful. War on them. You know what? I'm not even going to fight this one. <laughs> he is going to lose so badly. A decisive victory indeed. All right. Lost 11 troops. <laughs> All right. We're going to occupy, which the is going to have the lowest impact on our stuff. And we have now, once again, gained control of the province. So we'll be able to issue an edict, which is going to be the High King's Tribute, once again. And what is that going to get us? Minus two from 100, and we'll recoup that in a couple of turns. So no big dealio. Um, let's go ahead and upgrade. We do not have any surplus, and next turn is a surplus, so that's good. And we have a sparring center, which we're going to demolish. Because we need to build other things. We don't need no sparring centers. Unassigned skill points. You know what? That's fine. Plus 8% on the green skin damage. And, let's see. The Ancestor's Rune. Corruption reduced by 1. Corruption reduced by 1. Growth plus eight, public order plus one. Let's do growth plus eight. That seems to be the best way to increase our stuff. I think that's going to be it. Alrighty, folks. Let's press this end turn button. And I think I'm going to... What the crap? Is it because I stepped outside the city? He was able to take it right out from under me? Why did I not even get the chance to defend that? What the hell? Okay, well I have no idea what happened, but that is all I've got for this video, folks. In the next one, we will take this city back. Because we cannot stand for this. <laughs> As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.